Can the visitors strike early? Delivered up towards Amons. First touch was good. Effort was off target, but that is a flash inside the opening 30 seconds of what League Two Newport are capable of. It's taken them a quarter of an hour, but you feel now, David, that Middlesbrough are a bit slowly beginning to find their feet. Well, they are, and it's good little movement there from Hit. Middlesbrough. Wing, and now a Sombolonga. Flashes past Townsend's post. That is the opening that Middlesbrough have been craving in the opening 15 minutes. And it fell to the right man as well. So a Middlesbrough free kick. Didn't reach Ayala's head. And it was over the top, I think, by Aidan Flint, his centre-half partner. Wing is lining one up himself, that's into the wall. A second chance for Wing, and it was a lot better, but not quite good enough. No, absolutely right, and you can see there that Mark O'Brien takes the full brunt of the first opportunity. It's Mark, uh, Mark O'Brien just by the penalty spot. Here comes that Newport corner. There is the head of Asombolonga, of all people. Butler has it again. Delivery is a good one, too. Off Flint's head. Oh, it's a chance for Matt. Didn't drop for him, it did for Amons. And Randolph had to get in the way. Here's Wilmot. Middlesbrough living dangerously in Newport corner. Well, I'll tell you what, firstly, it was a great opportunity for Jamil Matt, but it comes off his shoulder, tries to head it, comes off his shoulder, eventually comes to Amons, but what a save that has to be. Downing's ball, Messi for Newport, as was the clearance. Flick towards goal by Ayala, and somehow Newport have cleared their lines. Well, I'm not quite sure how they did it, but it, there was a little bit of panic setting in, wasn't there, inside of that six-yard box. Asombolonga is waiting for it, and Townsend had that near post perfectly covered to make the stop. Well, when I see this ball going in, over onto that left-hand side to Ashley Fletcher, and you can see there with Nick Townsend quite happy to grapple that ball down to his right-hand post. Aidan Flint is the tallest man inside the Newport penalty area, but it's Ayala who reaches it. His centre-half partner heads Middlesbrough in front. A set-piece that the Welsh side weren't able to deal with. And Daniel Ayala scores only his second goal of the season. Footwork was excellent. Now Downing, as was that challenge as well. It was a brilliant challenge, but a tired distribution has allowed Middlesbrough to get it back with Saville. It's taken a horrible deflection, and the goalkeeper Townsend managing to recover his balance to make the save. Corner is short to Amons. Here comes the delivery. Semenyo heads it wide. Well, they haven't had many chances, Newport County. But that certainly is one. Now Semenyo, that's a smart turn from Antoine Semenyo. Still has it as well. Delivery is deep towards the flat post. Semenyo's chance. Semenyo's bonus chance. And doesn't he know it? Oh, what a golden opportunity that is for, for Semenyo, isn't it? Wilmot, Newport need a good delivery now. Wilmot's capable of it. Semenyo and Matt, and Randolph was on top of him. It's a Newport corner, but they are edging closer and closer to finding a way through this Middlesbrough side. Semenyo, nice initial touch. Here's Sheehan. Dolan's in the middle, it didn't come to him, it might come to Matt. It still might come for Dolan! There is your story! The former Middlesbrough youth player rescues a draw for Newport County! Forget having a chapter in the FA Cup story of shocks! They have the whole book at the moment! 
Lions. Middlesbrough won. Newport County won. Come off the hour, come off the man. And there is Matt Dolan. Never played for Middlesbrough. They've got what they've deserved over the last five minutes. Middlesbrough have not shut them out. Newport County, they deserve this. Booze ring around Riverside, but my goodness me, Michael Flynn's team and the FA Cup are becoming synonymous because once more, the League Two team, thanks to the former Middlesbrough man, Matt Dolan, have created another piece of history and they will be in the draw for the fifth round of the FA Cup.